Well, new at 6, we have learned the devastating floods in San Jose should have come as no surprise. A report two years ago identified the potential for low-lying areas at risk for devastating floods. But KPX 5's Phil Matier says it got little attention. He's live tonight at Chrissy Field to explain why. Phil? That's right. A lot of this has to do with timing, Veronica. Two years ago when the report first came out, we were in the middle of a drought. Just goes to show how quickly things can change and not always for the better. Let's take a look. Think of it as a rainquake, a river of storms hitting Northern California and unleashing biblical floods across the state. It happened in 1861, and it could happen again. It lasted for 40 days, and it dumped the volumetric equivalent of 16 Mississippi rivers over Northern California. It turned the Central Valley into an inland sea 300 miles long. The amount of devastation that would cause today is almost unimaginable. This is a map of the Bay Area's floodplains. According to a 2015 Bay Area Council report, some are already flooding without a rainquake. And it shows where the region's lakes, reservoirs, channels, and levees. And you'll see that there's a heavy concentration in the South Bay, and that's where we're seeing a lot of the flooding from the most recent storm. Marin, San Mateo, and Santa Clara counties have the most risk. Santa Clara County is the most vulnerable. There's a lot of low-lying areas, and a lot of the areas of Santa Clara County, um, including Silicon Valley, have sunk over the, about 15 feet below sea level because of past water pumping. The Bay Area Conservation and Development Commission has been looking at the added threat of rising bay tides brought on by climate change. They're already affecting flooding in areas like along Highway 37 in the North Bay or Highway 101 through Southern Marin County and at the International Airport in Oakland. It has flooding from both the commercial runway and the area over Doolittle Drive. And across the bay in San Francisco International? It has uh, current and future flooding. The eastern approaches to the bay, San Mateo, and Dunbarton bridges are also seeing flooding. And just yesterday, 14,000 San Jose households were ordered to evacuate because of flooding. Are we prepared for this ongoing storms like this? No. Well, it's really going to test California's water infrastructure. You know, most of our dams are about 75 years old. Our major water systems are about 75 years old. We've got a growing population, and there's a lot of deferred maintenance. Well, here in the Bay Area, we're starting to try to tackle that deferred maintenance. One of the things is San Francisco is going to be pitching in about $350 million in what's likely to be a billion-dollar rebuild of the seawall along the, the waterfront. And the entire Bay Area is pitching in about $12 a year in parcel tax to restore the wetlands in the south end of the Bay as a way of also controlling both the rising tides and the rain that's coming down in the floods. How, whether it's going to be in time for the next big one, well, that's the big gamble we're facing. In San Francisco at Chrissy Field, Phil Matier, KPIX 5.